35 by Tim Williams, who is an outstanding place kicker. The all-time field goal leader at Ohio State with 45. The Nittany Lions in all white, and as we said uh, throughout the season, this figures to be one of the big ball games of the year and Tim Williams kicks it out of bounds on his first try. I saw him while ago try to warm up and he never did really get his foot on it. And so uh, it'll be a 29 yard field goal try. Snap was high. The kick is up. It hit the upright and goes inside good. So it's good just barely and so Craig Payak is in the history book. See that animation and you talking. I thought I was back with the good old boys down in the uh, Carolinas. Right, Grayson. Right, Grayson. <laughs> Raceway Park in Indianapolis. Draymond uh -huh. Harris, Jeff Coughlin set behind Bobby Hoying. And Sander in motion. And Hoying rolls out and looks and throws underneath the coverage. Coming out of the backfield, it's Jeff Cutler, the big fullback. He's down to the Penn State 35-yard line and a first down for the Buckeyes. A big back at 242 pounds. First and goal at the Penn State four. It's Harris. Touchdown, Buckeyes. his longest since 1992's opening game. Slipped a little bit when he hit it. Got it over by yard. Squeezed it over. Check it for helium. <laughs> Check it for helium. Ohio State 7 and Penn State 6. Cochran the single back now for Ohio State. 242 pound senior from Middletown. And Hoying is looking at third down and nine. Has good protection. Gets it away. Pass is caught by Sanders. He's the track man. It's first down at the 28-yard line of Penn State. Chris Sanders, 6'1", 175, a junior from Denver. Faded in a long time. Third down and about 22 or three. And Bob Hoying rolls out the by time. Let's it go. Caught. ball about uh, almost two to one in time of possession and right now Tim Williams is going to try a field goal looks like a 22 yarder he is the all time field goal leader at Ohio State with 45 already let's see if he can get a good plant yes he can and knocked it through he's got 46 in his career and it's 10 to 6 now Ohio State leads Penn State that first quarter took about 52 minutes to play. Funds four passes. Kajana Carter and John Whitman in the backfield now behind Kerry Collins as the snow starts to come again. Collins gets his pass away down the field and it should be intercepted and is by Walton Taylor. And Taylor just drifted under that one like a center fielder on a lazy high hot fly. Brett Power gets his pass away. Man is wide open. Touchdown, Joey Galloway. Last year, Mike Archie checks in on third down and a long three. Terry Collins throws in complete. Intercepted. Intercepted. Tim Walton, I think it was, number 18. Runs out to start the second half for Ohio State, and they start at their own 33-yard line, and Penn State shows a six-man front defensively. Now as the tight end goes in motion, they back it off to five, hand the ball to Raymond Harris, and Harris pounds to the 40-yard line on a seven-yard pickup. 
snowing hard right now. Harris again up the middle. He comes, bounces off the stack, pounds his way to the 48-yard line. Half a play in a snowstorm. Harris again. Big hole in the middle. Gary Kaiser couldn't hold him. He goes to the 40. And a first down for Ohio State. Hurried by Ohio State. Yep, that's sort of what we expect because the Buckeyes definitely have a size advantage in the trenches. Up the middle goes Harris. First down at the 21. Derek Bonner stopped him, otherwise he scores. Hoying gives to Benote, sweep it right, running for the corner, he's there, touchdown. Craig Fayak, number five, who has already become the all-time scorer for Penn State for his third field goal try of the day. 29 good, 49 good, this is 30, and it's blocked. It is blocked by Marlon Kerner, the quarterback. First and goal for the Nittany Lions from the seven. Well, Barker is the man in motion. Collins to Pitts. Fumble. Ohio State's got it. Fourth and seven. Fourth and seven as Collins throws and it is incomplete. And Bobby Ingram was over there by himself because Walton Taylor, the free safety who had rolled up the help on the play, fell down. Well, I might want to think about that a second. Yeah, Auburn. Auburn. I'm tell you right quick. Auburn. Fourth Auburn. down. Pass intercepted. Picked off by Walton Taylor, his second of the day. Now it's a matter of just letting the clock wind down. And this one will go in the books. This will do it. The game is over. The Chevrolet, most valuable player. for Penn State. Chevrolet sending $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund. Keith Jackson, Bob Greasy, and Lynn Swan. We hope you've enjoyed it as ABC Sports brought you one of the big ones of the Big Ten. Won by the Ohio State Buckeyes over Penn State 24-6. to